You know, we've talked about the leadership side before, and, you know, it's a team game. All three phases have to work together. And when you have one that, you know, has a little bit rougher half like the defense did last week, it's a team thing to make sure everybody's together. It sounded like after the game that everybody felt that. What has to happen to maintain that and make sure the team's always that way, no matter what happens uh, on the field? Um, I think it's probably accountability during the week, uh, making sure that everyone's on the right page and uh, not taking the team for granted. Um, I think when we jumped out to a 21-0 lead, we just kind of expected that they'd go away um, and that we just kind of walk away with it. But they fought. They showed some heart and they fought and stuff. And um, we're just thankful to just be 4-0. Oh. You guys did have a lot of success offensively, Neil, and, and that had to be fun. I mean, you didn't get as many possessions, but when you score touchdowns on what, five of eight possessions and the last one you kneel it out at the end, you, but, you know, isn't that about what you hope for as an offense? Yeah, exactly. We wish that we would have had the ball a little more in the second half, um, but we were able just to put it away with another uh, drive to kind of put the game away like we did with Utah and Arizona State. We needed one of those tough drives to run out the clock and uh, put our team in the best position to win, and we definitely did that. Jay, go ahead. Hey, Neil, where does uh, Utah State rank on uh, kind of your list of rivals? At BYU, um, I don't know. I'd, a rival, I guess, to BYU fans. I've never seen um, Utah State as a rival. I know that we there's the wagon wheel and stuff, but I've only played them once. I didn't play them the the last time that we won it because um, I was suspended. So I mean, I just see them as another team. Um, we saw Utah as another team, so that's what we're going to do it as. As far as playing in front of a hostile crowd for probably the first time in almost two years, how are you guys approaching that? We're excited. Um, we're excited. You know, as awesome as Lavelle has been the past two weeks with how loud it's been, and it's been really loud. Um, we're excited just for the challenge to play away, to kind of hear the boos. Uh, I know a lot of athletes get up for that uh, when they hear boos and they hear taunting, and Utah State definitely is hostile. So. Um, I think we'll be more than capable with, with coming out with a W. And as long as we just keep our composure and stuff, I think everything uh, should, should run smoothly. Uh, Norma, you have a question? Yeah, Neil, can you talk to us about the offensive line and just how important they've been to the success this year and just sort of evaluate them through the first four games? Uh, they've been the reason why we won. Um, I know a lot of the offense and defensive line, they don't get a lot of uh, picks and um, posts like some of the skills uh, do on offense and defense, but that's where games are won. And they are won um, literally because of them. You saw Arizona State and Utah, we couldn't get the passing game as, as uh, or we couldn't get it going as we did this past Saturday. Um, so we were able to run the ball and find certain lanes that Tyler was able to hit, and that's all created because of them. So. I know this past uh, Saturday they took a lot of pictures of the big fellas, and the big fellas were able to post it on their Instagrams and stuff and, and feel the love as well. So, um, yeah. And just for you personally, do you have like any, I don't know, just like a certain play that maybe we may not have noticed where an offensive lineman really helped you to be able to succeed? Um, I think if we catch a pass, I think every time we catch a pass, that means that the quarterback's getting enough time to throw it. Um, so I think I'll look at it, that as any type of play. We've got time for one more question. Uh, Mitch, you want to go ahead? Yeah, Neil, uh, you know, earlier today, uh, your coach, uh, Aaron Roderick, uh, commended you for how hard you practice, uh, saying that you're one of the hardest working uh, guys he's seen in, in practice before. Uh, where does that come from? What uh, makes you just you know, buy into the grind and work as hard as you can every single day? Um, I think I just started taking it more serious just as years gone by. Um, I think you just grow and you mature. Um, you learn from other people. Uh, you learn from greats. Uh, you watch other people practice and they perform on Saturdays in the way that they perform. So there has to be um, something in the pudding for why people practice so hard and then why it comes so easy or it seems like it comes so easy during game days to them. Um, so talking with some of the guys that uh, went drafted or undrafted and them talking about some of the NFL guys that they've met or um, watched certain people that I've played with since I've been here, uh, that's kind of been pretty much it. 
Okay, Neil, thank you for joining yes. us this morning. Thank you. Appreciate